in our samples the idea was mainly to create safety zone for people, the population in uh, during war time, because it used to be in the in the front of the war. Mon arrière-grand-mère a eu deux filles. My great-grandmother had two girls. One of them was married to Georges Saint-Paul. The other girl also married a certain Georges. When he told me about his life, his entourage was made of women. He was like a god. For my mother, grandmother and others, he was extraordinary. Milan Bodhi was uh, actually the deputy secretary general. He was the first uh, right time of uh, Henri Georges. And when Henri Georges passed away, he took uh, the position of secretary general. He spent all his uh, strength <laughs> uh, to, to make this association becoming an only an ONG. Uh, he develops trainings, he develops, he did a lot of conferences, he did a lot of symposium. He had an important mission. He called me to check if I could coordinate training. The training was uh, on population safety, special needs, floods, droughts. Generally, it was about all that was going on on Earth at the time. It was also very important eh, for us to understand the dangers the countries faced. That was how I told him we should do planning for all of these events that could happen in future. If you give means to people, to countries, without uh, training them, they cannot know how to use and to protect population. It's why uh, ICDO focus in training and organize uh, many trainings in partnership with some countries. We uh, conduct uh, training in uh, Kazakhstan, in Kyrgyzstan, training for diving, for mountain rescue, and uh, we are now planning also to uh, training in St. Petersburg for gas and oil explosion. So the main aim of uh, the International Monitoring and Coordination Center is the informational support of national civil defense structures of uh, the ICDO member states by using uh, most modern uh, technologies such as the joint informational uh, systems uh, for the monitoring and prevention of natural uh, and man-made disasters for all ICDO uh, member states. This center who, uh, was created in 2015. He helps our member state to forecast risk at the level. Uh, member state uh, uh, that don't uh, have an uh, operational center can refer to this center. Civil defense has to do with some form of paramilitary tactics. So I think if the mother union can have training for member countries. The staff who mattered more, the core staff of every agency that's in charge of civil protection, it will sharpen our skills, our knowledge, and everything that we need to protect our population. For this reason, in 2000, it has been a long time that Russia is a donator for um, humanitarian uh, projects in ICDO. I think that the Ministry of Emergency Situation of Russia uh, has been uh, very uh, good in a very high development uh, process. So my role is uh, to uh, be the intermediary between the uh, government parties uh, of the donor states and the beneficiary state. ICDO tried to conduct all our arrangement, which was planned with our member states, 
So since last year we try to organize a maximum of what, which we, what we, we can do to our member states. Uh, for example, last year during the COVID situation, as the Secretariat of ICDO, especially International Department, we organized uh, a few, uh, several uh, to several countries deliver vaccines. So I think it's quite uh, a success. And we still continue with uh, his dream uh, to protect the population. Today, as we see uh, the effect of climate change on uh, population, on our community, with uh, the increasing of uh, disaster, he had a reason to create uh, that uh, organization.